Hey, Don here. Okay, I am doing a, a test, screen audio video test on OBS Studio after setting up audio from Cam 3 there on all video sources. Um, so I have my Wi Fi lapel <coughs> coming from Cam 3 again, and I still have. Um, um, well, let's go ahead and test it out right here. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on. And that's both of them S58. Now, there's audio from Cam 3 all by itself. And I've got uh, 17 dB gain and it, and uh, noise gate turned on so that when I get quiet, it gets quiet because it had background noise. It was about can't read those numbers, but it was up to there where my pointer is. Um, too small for me to read. <laughs> you see what that's? Oh, it's negative 55 dB. Okay. So, um, I'll try. Let's go back and to the SM58 again. Let's see how they compare together. Let's see how they compare together. One, two, check one, two. Okay, I'll try to get them at the same volume. I started out with, that's how I set my seven. 17 plus 17 db gain was by uh, listening to it uh, over the you know turned on the mon where I could monitor it <laughs> okay so um well, it took forever to get this all set up well, well i had to dig around with cables i ended up having a bad cable too i've let's see okay so this is desktop and this is the video i'm making there we go and uh, it's been so long since i've made a obs video i made a few with my phones and that's all I've done in a couple of months now, it seems. Anyway, um, this is something I've been wanting to set back up ever since I decided the battery was going to be okay for Foam 3. I thought I wasn't going to be able to use it anymore because it was soiling up. And I let it set outside of the phone for a month, I think, and it pretty much, you know, all the outgassing went away. It kind of seeped out, I guess. And it's not, it's not swollen. All of them are kind of swollen up a little bit now, but not, it's not swollen up any more than the others. So let's go to camp. Oh, I accidentally got a pretty darn good. I'd like to have it just a little higher than that. Let me go ahead and adjust it. I'll, uh, I'll switch to the... And now I'm on the wireless mic. I want to test it. I go by my... There we go. go by the top of my... I don't know how high I want it. <clears throat> kind of where... I mean, that's just... What a reference point I use once I figured out where I wanted it, I go back to the same place. And my, well, this is the cable. You can't really see it. But there's a cable coming in. Yeah, the input for out of the main output of the mixer, the mic, you know, goes into the mixer and then out of the mains to put on the VM2 effects processor and out back to my computer. And uh, so this cable turned out the one I've been using for years. That cable lasted long enough, though. I got that when I used to work with my friend's sound company from them back in 92 or something like that. And uh, they did buy it new at some point, but when I got it, it had been pretty well used. But it finally got to where it was messing up. You know, if you wiggle it a little bit, it would, it would, just, it would just start making a bad noise. And, peg the uh, input that's what i noticed the inputs pegged you know and i'd seen that happen before i had thought it was not the cable i was afraid it was actually the input on the e amp but today it just i don't know it just hit just right for me to figure it out <clears throat> so uh, it seems fine now let's go back to the sm58 yeah now that we're back on the sm58 and if i stop talking it's totally silent because there's a compressor and a noise gate in the VM, but I also have software compressors, noise gates, and things I can use in OBS Studio. So I use that on the phone over the Wi-Fi, you know, the lapel going into the phone and coming up through the Wi-Fi to the computer. Uh, I didn't used to do that, and, uh, well, I got a new mic. I am kind of worried. We'll see how it sounds. I, I want to make a I thought my first video would actually be checking the cable for this mic. It has like a, it's a dual mic. Um, let me move my mic. 
see, there's two of them, but it goes to a single mono, um, you know, c connector, and uh, you'd, you'd be nice if it was stereo, but they're not, uh, which is fine because the computer turns it into stereo when you when it when it comes through OBS. OBS turns it into stereo is what happens. Uh, you can set it to or not to do that, but it, I've got it set to do that. So whatever you give OBS mixes it down or up to stereo. Uh, you can actually have up to six inputs, six channels input with OBS, but I don't have the ability to do that. Uh, I can do two at a time. I can do two through the uh, line, mic or line input, and I can one one or the other at a time. I can't do them both. I have two USB sound cards, <clears throat> but I don't think I can use, to, well, I don't think the computer can handle, it really works a computer to use USB anything, really, cameras and sound cards. So anyway, I use one. I've got two of these. They're they're almost identical. I've had for years. Anyway, they work okay, but they act up. It's been acting up. I was using it a lot, and two thing problems I had, which is it would start acting up and not work and quit working and make noise or something. And the other thing is that 16 foot cable was, uh, you know, since I wasn't able to be, I wasn't running it through the phone through the Wi-Fi, and it helped with the sync audio video sync quite a bit. Still wouldn't sync perfectly. But uh, it never is. I don't care what mic, what source I'm using. Um, and I've tried to fix it with, you know, uh, audio delays and stuff like that. And, but I, uh, audio video delay settings and stuff, but I never could get it to. It, it, it changes, it, it, especially when you're going over the Wi-Fi. It's constantly fluctuating. Uh, but anyway, I tried to fix it, and I finally decided, you know, you can't fix it. It's really better to leave it alone. Uh <clears throat> So, uh, I'm looking at my fingernails. Well, I've been having, you know, when you get those little pieces of dead cuticle and skin sticking up, I've been having that a lot the last couple of days. It's driving me crazy. I think they're there when they're not. So, anyway, let's look at Cam 2. I, I've got myself all went blank. Now, it's just really not a yeah, name at the back of my head. You can see how thin my hair is getting. Um, boy. Uh, I didn't take time to aim it or anything i could zoom it in i guess on the let's we'll just do that let's go to the desktop now and i will zoom that in <clears throat> just for fun i didn't uh i just wanted to test it i didn't want to i don't know where i want it for the video i'm gonna do uh, let me decide how i need to set up i'm gonna have to eat now it's almost seven and i'm gonna have to eat i might not be able to make that video tonight we'll see because i've been getting in bed a lot earlier and usually by the time i eat supper i'm just more, it just puts me to sleep anyway and i still i got to get a bath and all that stuff so i'm not making this video to upload i'm just trying to get things set up so let's see we'll get this and the stream quality i don't know why it always it always defaults to 99 percent i won't move over anymore it says 100%, but it doesn't show to be moved over. Now, let's zoom in, get past my balding head here. That's what happens when you get old, though. Yeah, see, I didn't didn't even try to make it. Normally, I get it to where I can see. I can zoom in so that the two, the right and left sides are, you know, just barely in this, in this frame and... Uh, then leave space at top and bottom and try to get it as straight as I can, but I didn't do that. So uh, I'm not going to bother with the exposure. I usually change the exposure to make it look better on the screen. Well, I can do that. doesn't matter. There we go. Make the screen look better. And then uh, I can actually listen. I can go here and I can listen to that lapel mic when it's on. But it would make a big echo in the video, so I won't do that. And let's see, cam one. Yeah, there we go. And I can see, see if I wanted to make, you can make quite a few changes with this uh, remote control uh, through the web browser. It's pretty cool. That's the IP webcam app that I use. Pretty cool like that. Okay, so um, let's close the browser again. All right, now, back to camera one, okay, and one on the SM58, camera two on the SM58, uh, 
Okay, we'll do one and two on the SM58. And, uh, <coughs> I'm putting something up there under my, uh, and one in desktop, uh, two in desktop. I don't have the 10 inch tablet hooked up, so. And the endoscope. <coughs> this, I hadn't touched it since in a while, but uh, it will work except for some, the case is breaking. It's got a big, a, a piece was just barely hanging on by a thread, and I was looking at it. I forgot to stay by the mic today and, and it broke right off and then I tried to set it down on my desk and it disappeared anyway I'm scared I'll get yeah that will it, it moves it you can I can't really show it with one hand but you can it's cracked to where I think you could get it in upside down and then it, I'm afraid it'll short it out and the, I had two of these and the other one quit working and uh, <clears throat> this one would still work but anyway I think I better glue that or do something I thought if if I could wrap tape around that and still have it not that clear tape. Well, that's actually not Scotch. I started to say Scotch tape. That's not Scotch tape. That's that thicker packing tape. Might be the only thing I got that's thin enough because electrical tape would, for one thing, it's more stretchy and it would let the uh, piece, you know, open up when you, if you put it in upside down. That's the whole thing. What I'm trying to think of is some way to keep it from opening up and allow you to plug it in upside down and on accident. Uh, which could maybe, I'm afraid, might short it out, short out the USB and burn this up, or, or even worse, burn up the USB chip in my computer, you know. Uh, but anyway, this came with a SD card. I had two SD cards, 64, what are they called? Strontium SD card, 64 mega, uh, gigabit, gigabyte SD cards. <coughs> and... Uh, just put that up there so that when I go to the camera, there's something under it besides that. Okay, so there's uh, one in endoscope. I was going to use the endoscope. I was going to try. I was going to look down my uh, cable. I was afraid that I may have cut it or or stretched it too bad. I was talking about the uh, 16 foot cable on my lapel mic. The real big problem I had was I kept getting it tangled up in the wheels of my chair and stuff and really pretty badly a couple of times and I'm afraid it could have damaged the conductor inside of it so um, I wanted to make I wanted to check it under the endoscope and make just go ahead and make a video of it you know so let's it. go to the let's go to the lapel mic <coughs> now I just I didn't do any checking I just plugged it into the phone it seems to be working just fine <coughs> and um, uh, well there <coughs> The phone, well, I didn't turn on any compression. The more effects you turn on, the harder it works your machine, so I don't want to use any more than I have to. And the phone has, well, as you, I pegged it by coffin. Well, you could peg this in 58 by coffin. Too. It seemed to be a lot easier. And The phone has some built-in audio compression. I thought it had compression and noise gate. It may only have compression because it had, uh, like I said, it was just sitting... At about 10 dB of noise, it was sitting at negative 50. 55. Yeah, 50, 55, 50, 55, oh, 60. It was 5 dB, about 5 dB of noise, which I really, when I turned on my speakers to monitor it, and it sent it to sound to the speakers, I really couldn't hear it, but usually you can hear. I remember hearing a little bit of background noise. I wasn't talking in previous videos. Like I said, this is a new mic, and it sounds better than the old one, but I think it may have more. Well, with two mics, I think, uh, and especially with the gain I put on it, I think that just brought up a little. And I think they pick up better than the old mic did. Without, but I did need that 17 dB to make it match. Yeah, that video's pretty big it must be getting to be several minutes long now oh i can see that on here uh record time 15 minutes yeah jabbering on getting pretty tired and really really hungry kind of disappointed that it took this long but i, I, I knew it would <laughs> i'm all set up to start that video but uh you're starving to do maybe after i eat if i fill up to it i might try to do it
Well, there's, that's not the video I was aiming to do, actually. That test we did. The, the, that's just on the way. Wanted to make sure. I guess I don't have to do that. If, if, the, if this works well, I, I really don't have to do that, checking the cable video. What I really want to do is set up. I, I figured out how to set up oh, uh, Lucky Backup. To back up the videos that I'm take make on my phone, you know, not not streaming, but just record on my phone. Got a bunch of them now that are quite of several on all three phones. That I need to back up to my USB backup drive, and uh, back up to my USB backup drive, and then delete them off the phone so the phones don't. And uh, I want and I can use Lucky Backup over the Wi-Fi, and that way I don't have to take the can't see it now, but uh, that would have been the one thing I'd want to show. Um, no, I don't have to show it since it's the best video. But on top of the monitor, my tripod with phone one. And uh, anyway, I've got them rigged up into uh, the, the tripods with rubber bands to hold them. It's, it's not hard, but it's a pain to take them in. And I'd like to be able to back them up wirelessly back up those videos and then I can see I can do I have an app, app on there called SSH droid which allows me to connect to the phones over SSH when I turn it on and uh, I've tried using uh, FileZilla but it any any file over about a gigabyte it just hangs up do anything under a gigabyte it does I think maybe luggy backup will do fine I hope unless it's got something to do with the phones well, I thought it was the phones going to sleep or something, but I don't think that's what it or or going into power say remote and metering the uh wireless signal or something. Actually there's settings in uh SSH Joy to tell it to not go to sleep and not m meter Wi Fi speed. And I've got them all turned on. They already were that way. I'd have, I'd have, I'd, yeah, I I I did a bunch of research the other day, figured that out and I probably I evidently I figured it out in the past and forgot so um, anyway I wanted to make a video of it because I had talked about it a lot in other videos and saying that I you know do it and I want video so I'll do that then I could make well that's a I was gonna say might go back to making my real videos but that is a real video that's one that for a long time and uh, been, I, I don't use the phones uh, hadn't been I'd always used tried to always use OBS studio and just because I can carry the you know it's wire they're wireless and I can and I can only get about 10 minutes out of them when they're not plugged in but carry them around and everything there's you know if I go any further than if I try to go out in the garage then I start getting terrible drop frames stuff, you know audio is fine but video starts dropping lots of frames and that's a crazy thing and I think I can fix that with a wireless another router out there that's a wireless repeater, but that's a whole other project. I got because I, I have a router. Bought uh, I bought this Dean link I'm using now, uh, and my uh, uh, TP link you can put uh, DDWRT on it or some of the other. It's available for, and also for this D link. But <laughs> first, I just would I was going to do that TP link and put it out in the garage and see be able to go in the garage and in the driveway. <coughs> uh, I've been using a, uh, different routers as wireless repeaters out there in the garage for years, but I think the, uh, the heat and the cold may may kill them because after a couple, year or two of them being out there, they get to where they don't work anymore. That's happened to two of them. So, well, one of them lasted about five years. Anyway, and that's uh, kind of I kind of hate to put it out. If that is the case, I don't want to ruin that good router. But anyway, I'm going on and on. Okay, so anyway, this is Cam 1. Let's go back and desktop uh, on the audio from Cam 3. Cam 1, Cam 2, 1 and 2. Good enough. If there starts to be delay when I wave and it doesn't, Go up, then the normal audio. Out to. Okay, that was one in desktop. This two in desktop. Then, okay, skip the 10 inch tablet. Make sure that. 
frozen up. Yeah, that's that's USB Endoscope, Endoscope and Cam One. Sometimes I do a countdown on my way, but just the fact that I'm waiting. That's in two. Of course, I've got Cam Two just aimed at the the back of my balding head. Okay, so that will tell me everything I need to know. I'm starving, and I can hear somebody's in the kitchen making something to eat. Hear the microwave. Okay, so um, in one. Okay, now we're on SM58, and uh, yeah, I didn't think about it a while ago, but OBS is doing all right. Let's see, let's go to the desktop. Oh, well, it's not doing, it usually doesn't do that much, use that much resource. Now it's settled down. When it was on camera one, I think it was using more resources. Let me look at that again. Oh, I can do desktop and cam one and see, see it myself. See what happens and show it at the same time. See if it climbs. Not really. I don't know why it had climbed. It was, I saw it at 38% and then I saw it at, uh, uh, thirty-eight percent, and then I saw it get up to sixty-eight, and then it went down to twenty. You know, it usually stays between twenty-four and thirty-two percent, or something, which is okay. So, um, I just now noticed the uh, scene that I'm using. Oh, the profile shows up in here. Oh, the one that profile I'm using, and then the scene settings that I'm using. The scene profile setting, whatever. I'm using shows up in here in the in the window title. How about that? Oh, it shows up there too. I never realized that. And uh, I saved the previous settings that I had, backed them up, and uh, <clears throat> I backed them up in two ways. I uh, over here. So I backed them up in their own folder there. I did. You can export them. I did an export, and then I just copied the whole. It's in it uh, OBS Studio folder to make sure because the last time I uh, tried to set uh, tried to copy what I had done is copy and pasted. I think it was Cam Three Audio, or my not was I think it was a different one like Cam One or something. Anyway, uh, let's go here. Okay, well, there it is. It's, dot config and then OBS studio that's where that is in fedora there it's fedora 28 uh, up i'm sure but uh <coughs> it uh quit working Let's see what did it do oh it crashed it wouldn't even open up but i think what i think it was a coincidence now i'm pretty sure that's something i was wanting to check on today uh I think it was a coincidence because it turned out I, I deleted all those profiles and did you know all this work uh, got it to running again and uh, I, I got it to running again it wouldn't stream but it would uh, it would crash on, on stream when you click on stream now I am just recording hopefully when I click on stream it won't crash that would be bad I just remembered that <coughs> but it does record I'm doing that um, <coughs> But uh, I think what happened, I went around and around with it, and I finally decided I, w I reverted to an older version, and I was just fine, except for I had uh, not put my, what did I do? I don't remember. I ended up with, oh, when I had trouble with the battery on the Cam 3, I took them all out of there. Yeah, yeah I reverted to an older version, and I set up my computer to not update. Uh, I tried to set it up to not update uh, update everything except for OBS Studio and I may have been successful but I was so worried about it breaking my streaming again uh, if it you know up when if I ran the automatic updates like I usually do I was so worried about it breaking my streaming that I turned off updates and, and I just let it go I just didn't I just uh, didn't update it for a couple two or three months and finally, I got worried about not updating the computer, and I went ahead and did a man. And I think what I did is I did it wrong. I did a manual update in the, in the terminal, and it updated OBS too, but everything was still fine. So they, I knew, I figured out it was a problem with OBS. I didn't. It took me a 
a lot of research and I wasn't sure, but it's what I thought. So it was, and they fixed it. Well, I could have been Fedora. I mean, you really don't know for sure, but well, I, I had, to, I think it was OBS, but anyway, I don't remember the details, but, um, <clears throat> I updated it. Um, when I updated it, what I, sh what I should have done, I think what I remembered after I, after the fact, um, that, uh, I forgot the name of the app. I installed an app and, and set it up and I had to do all kinds of, you know, I had to set it all up and everything to tell what app you didn't want it to update. You had to run some commands. I don't think you, yeah, I think you did install an app and then you had to run some, we did it all in the terminal and I, you know, I did it all copied and pasted all the commands. Anyway, I had it all set up. <clears throat> I had to do a lot of reading to figure out how, which way I was wanting to set it, you know, there were quite a few options. And, uh, anyway, I think it only worked with automatic up. It only would freeze things. If you're doing automatic updates, it wouldn't freeze them. If you went the terminal and did an update. And I think if you'd used uh, DNF drag or, uh, is what Fedora 28 and on up or maybe before well, 27, I think, and on up. But anyway, DNF drag or is what 28 and 29 uses. Um, if you did a manual update in the terminal, then it would go ahead and update everything. It did do that. I know that. I think if I would have just let automatic updates, it wouldn't, it would have skipped it. I think that's all that app could do. And, uh, if you went into DNF and clicked, you know, mark all updates, I think it would go ahead and mark them all. Now you could manually uncheck those, I believe. Yeah. You could go through there and find the ones you don't want to update, <clears throat> but, uh, I wanted I just chickened out on it. I did all that work and then chickened out on letting it try it. Cause I, I was doing streams almost every day and I didn't want to break it. But then I, then I got, uh, well, I got my health got down and I didn't, didn't do anything. I mean, one way or the other for two or three months, so hardly at all. So, so now I've been feeling better and trying to get back to doing all the things that I haven't been able to. <laughs> I got so many things, you know, working on cars and, car in the van the truck in the van the blazer ship blazer in the van and getting them back on the road again and um doing all the, doing all the computer stuff i like to do and <clears throat> so i'm trying to pick one thing at a time doing a video uh i'd been doing some videos uh kind of like re kind of like review videos i guess but just checking out uh, uh, what, uh what's the name <laughs> Uh, a developer, I got to talking to the developer. He was commenting on my videos that I had made on, on, uh, rescue tux and, uh, and it, it, it can fix grub and, and or fix on windows boot and different things. Uh, and, um, uh, anyway, I started uh, doing, he started sending me his, uh, beta ISOs that he was working on. I was this new version and I started doing videos on them. And anyway, he's got another, he had, well, he sent me one and I never got to make a video on it. And then he put, he put, he didn't, he was just sending them just to me. They weren't released. And now he's got one that is, it's a, still a beta, but it's released on his website. And he asked, he said, well, if I can make a video, it would be nice. You know? And uh, <clears throat> so I want to, so but I got all this stuff that of my own that I really have to do. So well, Adrian, uh, of rescue tux, let's see, what is it? Rescue tux and, uh, Resca Tux is what he actually calls it. R E S C A T U X, I think it is, or something like that. Um, yeah, I can't remember now. But anyway, my, my that's my what puts me my my brain uh, goes round and round with me remembering and not remembering things. Anyway, it's something I've been familiar, really familiar with, especially lately. But that's how it goes. So anyway. Um, I'm just only thing I haven't tested now is the uh, my exit titles with audio and all that. So I'm gonna go. Uh, that's long enough for rambling on about all this, and uh, see how this turned out. All right, bye bye. <laughs>